Hey you guys, what's up? Hey girl, hey, it is your girl Tash and welcome back to my channel. For today's video guys, I'm really, really overly excited because we're gonna be talking about one of my all-time favorite hobbies, nails. Okay, so y'all know I have been gone for a while. If you're new to my channel, hi, hey, hello. My name is Tasha, everybody here calls me Tosh and I'm a nail junkie. Um, I used to go to the salon and spend all kinds of money. And since I lost my job two, three years ago, I just went back to press on nails and I haven't looked back. So it seems a lot of people are getting back into or just newly getting into press on nails since the pandemic hit. So I went on a little binge. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the clip so we can get into it. I will explain why I have all of these in just a moment. All right, y'all, so the reason I have all of these nails sitting here is because I have not been able to film for a while. I think I just said that, but so I've been saving these since Black Friday. Um, I wasn't going to shop on Black Friday and then I got a couple of bucks or whatever and I was like, girl, I need to stock up on my nails. So I will link all of these down below for you. I picked some up from Kiss, which you guys know I'm an affiliate of. So those will be linked straight to the Kiss site, the ones that I can actually link to them. Um, they had a really nice Black Friday sale and I did share that on my community tab. Always, always, always check that out. Make sure you have your post notifications turned on. I share tons of sales, and a lot of it is on high-end makeup. So if you're looking to get into that, check the community tab. Back to the nails. Um, I got some from um, Amazon, which were really inexpensive. I got some from iKate House, uh, Walgreens, CVS. I honestly don't remember everywhere, but I will link them all for you. So we're just going to start off with something that's has to do with nails but it's not press on nails but it, it has to do with it so one of the things that I get asked a lot is how do you remove your press on nails guys I'm telling you right from the jump never ever 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 pull them off do not force them off I am telling you you will mess your nails up the next time I get ready to switch which will be like in a couple of days I will film my nails but i'm just going to warn you my nails are recovering because i too used to pull my press on nails off and it just it damages them so badly however um a little while ago like a year ago i came across a company called static nails this company makes their own version of press on nails that are reusable yada yada i've never tried their nails however they do make this product called it's by Static Nails and it's called 100% um, Non-Toxic Hydrating Nail Polish Remover. Now, as I read further on the site, this also states that you could remove press-on nails with this, specifically theirs. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take a chance. Let me tell y'all, this is the best $18. I know. I know. That's a lot. But this is the best $18 that I have ever spent for my nails, whether it's going to get them removed from the salon, dipping them in hot soapy water and sitting there for hours, using acetone, girl, none of that anymore. This stuff is bomb. And I've been using this for about a year. I know I've been keeping the secret from you guys, but I just wanted to make sure I thoroughly tested it, I loved it, and all of that before I recommended it to you because it is on the pricier side. Now, I, I noticed the other day that Ulta does sell stuff from Static Nails and they specifically have this item. So if you get a coupon, then you can save some coin off of it, obviously, but this stuff is amazing, you guys. You just take the dropper well, first of all, here's what it looks like. It's in a glass bottle and it comes in a nice little box. It is clear. I'm not sure how many ounces are here, but anywho, there's a dropper. And I'm telling you, you only need about that much to start off with. And all you do is when the nails are about ready to come off and you got some wiggle room in there where you can bend the sides, you'll take drops and just put it on the sides of your nail. You can put it on the top and just rest your hands in a bowl. That's what I do. And it's literally just like, 
it's eating the glue. I know that sounds terrible, but it's eating the glue away. And it's helping that glue become really weak so that you can just take the nail off. It's crazy, you guys. It's like magic in a bottle. But I am telling you guys, this is the only way I remove my press-on nails now. So highly, highly recommend. It's very hydrating as it states in the name of it. And I just love it. You know how acetone dries out your hands, your nails, your nail beds and all that? It does not do that. It's amazing. It does not have a smell. It's non-toxic. Highly recommend. I'm going to go ahead and move on to another product. So this product I picked up from iKate House and it's called the Super Nail Nail Primer. It's a very tiny little bottle, but that's because you don't need much. I've noticed when you prime your nails, whether you use a nail primer or just pure alcohol, it really helps your nails to adhere better to your natural nail. So I'm going to try out a nail primer. I'll let you guys know what I think if it's necessary, but after reading, I think it's something that will help them adhere even better because I'm someone that keeps forgetting to put my gloves on when I'm washing dishes. Yeah, and that makes your nails not last as long. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Now the products from iKate House, I'm just going to tell you like in a list of products that these products came from iKate House. I'll leave you the website. Unfortunately, I won't be able to link those products. So this one is from Kala. This is the Nail Tip Cutter. And I went online and I looked at this one and I looked at one from Kiss. To me, they looked exactly the same. Um, for those of you who want to rock like the different designs, like the longer ones, getting something like this is going to give you a better cut, a more even cut where you don't have to do as much filing. Um, and one of these days we can show you that here on camera, but for today, I just wanted to show you guys, I got these for like $1.99, pretty good value. And then the other non-nail products, I mean, it's for nails, again, it's from Kiss. This is their cuticle trimmer and nail groomer. I just picked that up because I wanted something with a nice pusher, like a cuticle pusher. I don't wanna use the wooden ones anymore. Um, and then I also got the cuticle trimmer. So just something that Nick and I both use. Okay, getting into the nails, I'm gonna warn you, there is a lot here. We are seven minutes in already um, and I just want to warn you guys there's a lot so grab a drink grab a snack and let's get into it all right so I'm gonna start off with some of the nails that I picked up from Amazon there's also one here from Macari now these are more like handmade nails somebody made these and then sold them so I'm gonna insert a picture of the ones that I can't show you as good because of the packaging and stuff so these came from Amazon these are a um, long length pink glitter nail and they're coffin shaped which is my favorite shape don't mind my nails guys I just got done washing dishes and I haven't hydrated but I will insert a picture of these here these were $4.99 and from what I can feel through the packaging and everything they feel pretty sturdy I don't mind that they came in this. You've got a full set and then some. There's 24 nails in here. It looks like it comes with the stickies. So if you just wanted to wear them for a day or two, you could use those. You do need to have your own glue if you're purchasing these. Of course, my recommended nail glue is in my Amazon store, which will also be linked below with this stuff. So check that out. It's the cheapest way to buy it in a four pack. But Back to these nails, I will definitely keep you guys updated um, either in the comments here to let you know how these wore, but they seem pretty legit and they're really pretty. The next ones are an olive green pair. They also came in a pack like this. I think these were $3.99 or $4.99. Picture is here. They are gorgeous, gorgeous green and they feel even more high quality than these. So I'm really excited to wear these. They were super inexpensive. Again, they come with an emery board and the little sticky tabs. These I bought from a girl who has her own small business on Mercari and it's called Electric Nails or something. It'll be in the description box. But these are called Cherub, or Cherub Clouds. There's 24 nails in here. Plus she sends you glue, an emery board, an alcohol prep pad, and a cuticle pusher. Hopefully you guys can see those. If not, there's a picture here. These are absolutely gorgeous and they look even better in person than they do on uh, the picture there. They're long length coffin and I don't remember how much I paid for these. I'll have it linked below. 
I'm gonna have to speed it up a little bit here guys because we got this whole thing to get through and it's full so <laughs> let me grab the ones that came from iKate house that way I don't mix anything up so from iKate house I picked up three different glitter sets these are all long length they're coffin shape and they're all by kiss these are my favorite, these beautiful blue ones here. What I love about the glitter nails like this from Kiss is they are very, very sturdy. You're not going to break these on anything. I notice a lot of the different long length nails by Kiss or anyone's at the drugstore. Once you've submerged them in warm water too many times, they get brittle. So that's a downside. These ones are gold glitter. And then we have these like purpley mauve kind of really pretty uh, golden or not golden but they do have gold flecks in them glitter. These all come with 24 in a pack, the glue, everything that you need to do your full manicure. Alright and so the last pair that I picked up from IK House, these are kind of a opalescent shiny long length pair. These are from Goldfinger which is also a brand from Kiss. Now I know you can't um, find these in the drugstore where I live, but I know you can find them on Amazon, IK House. I got y'all. I got y'all. All right, you guys. So these next sets came from Amazon. Really, really great deals on these. And a lot of them are Goldfinger. Some of them are Kiss, but they're all in that same brand. So this came in a two pack. These are gorgeous like this gorgeous red oh my goodness like anybody could wear this red and it will be popping now what I love about these Goldfinger long length coffin nails is that they are really sturdy these are matte and they just wear so beautifully you guys they're gorgeous they're absolutely gorgeous and to me um, I got a lot of compliments on these when I wear wore the color that I'm going to show you next these also came in a two pack I did wear a set already and they're just like these deep red blood red color oh girl for the fall and winter yes honey yes these were $8.99 for a two pack I believe again I will have them linked in my Amazon store that way you guys can find them easily so the next set that I got from Amazon, these are another glitter set. These are white with like blue, green, pink, red glitter on them. They are so beautiful. I am going to insert a picture here of those. That way you can kind of see them better because it's hard to see them on camera, but they look so much better in person. They're just gorgeous. So the next set that I got from Amazon as well. This one is long length coffin again. It's my favorite you guys. Long length coffin is just absolutely beautiful. So this is from the Kiss Masterpiece collection. They have so many beautiful kinds of nails like this and on Amazon I found these a lot cheaper. These are usually about $10.99 at Ulta in your local drugstore. Look how gorgeous those are. And um, they seem to be pretty sturdy from what I can tell already. What I love about this set is you do get matte, shiny, you get accents on them. It looks like you went to the salon. You get some glitter accent nails. I mean, for the price, this looks like you went to the salon. So I don't think $10.99 is a lot to pay if you're finding them in your local drugstore. Some people don't agree. I get it. We're all balling on a budget right now, but... I mean, you're going to go to the salon and pay $50 to get this. So, girl, you got to choose. So, I also found a pair of these gold um, Kiss All Glitter ones at Amazon as well. These here were more of a rose gold where the ones from IK House were just pure gold. So, really, really pretty. Again, the gold is really sturdy. I mean, they going to last you. All right. So, so, the next pair, couple of pairs, are all from Goldfinger. First one is these guys right here. It's kind of a celestial kind of a print with stars, moon, things like that. It's got some accent nails in there. These are also long length coffin guys. These are from Goldfinger and really inexpensive. They also had a Snow Queen limited edition collection that they came out with. These ones right here specifically are like a matte teal. Again, long length coffin, unless they stay otherwise. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I think I got these for like four or five dollars. So totally worth the money. 
Goldfinger again, a long length coffin. These are like a steel, kind of a light steel gray, I guess. Um, they're just really pretty. They're matte and I love the color. The next one is also from another limited um, edition collection. It's called Bloody Queen. And all I can hear is Bloody Queen. <laughs> but anyways, these have like four different designs in them. So you get silver glitter, shiny, like really gorgeous blue, and then leopard print as well. I just thought those were so me as soon as I saw them. Oh, so pretty. All right, so the rest of these, as far as I know, um, some came from Dollar General, some came from Walmart, some came from um, CVS, Walgreens. I'll link them all for y'all. Some of them came from Ulta. And I'm going to start off with the Dollar General ones that I found first just because these ones are going to be the hardest to link. So this pair right here I found at my local store. These are long length coffin as well. They are the salon color nails ready to wear. These are three or four dollars. And the reason these are so much cheaper is because you don't get glue with them. But not a big deal. I had to have that yellow y'all. So pretty. So then the next pair, these are a fave. I wish I could find these in a long or medium length. They're just a really pretty kind of grayish mauvey. They're beautiful but I can only find them in short. The next pair are a matte blue pair. These are also short length by Kiss. Again, it's the same salon color, ready to wear from Dollar General. And they're just really pretty. I get a lot of compliments on this pair. All right, so some that I picked up from Walmart a long time ago. <laughs> I'm not sure if I showed you guys these. They do have the Impress by Kiss, which is the ones that have like the tabs on the nail and you can just press them on if you like. Personally, those don't last for me. Um, what happens is they lift first at the cuticle and then as I'm doing my hair, it's snagging my hair. It drives me crazy. You can feel them moving around on your nails. I still glue these if I can get them to fit. For me, I have a couple of nails on each hand that are, have more of a wider nail bed. And for whatever reason, these are not made the same size as regular Kiss nails. I don't know why, but it is very frustrating um, because a lot of people that I've talked to about nails cannot get these to fit. So generally, I don't buy a lot of Impress. However, if you have smaller hands, smaller nail beds, these will be perfect for you. These are the OPI... Um, Malaya Wine X Impress. You can find these at your local drugstore as well. I believe these are between $6.99 and $8.99 depending on where you buy them. Um, they do come with a prep pad to prep your nails. It's an alcohol prep pad. They come with an emery board and a cuticle pusher usually and then instructions on how to use these. The good thing about these is if you, excuse me y'all, if you just need your nails to last for a couple of days, you're going to a wedding or special event, pop these on, they say the last seven days and then you can easily remove them without damaging your nail beds. All right, so another one that I tried out is from Sinful Colors. I love Sinful Colors nail polish. It is all the rage from my past, I like being a teenager, junior high. They have great polishes. They're very affordable. And now they make press-on nails. Now, I've seen them before, but nothing ever caught my eye until I found these. These are short length, I want to say stiletto, medium length. They say medium length oval shape, but they kind of remind me of stiletto just a little bit. These are called the Sinful Colors Claws Pro Nail Art Manicure. So just the detail on these alone, I hope you guys can see that. I know it's glaring. They have like a rose and pearl lesson kind of 3D detail on there. Um, and they're just like a matte black. But I had never seen anything this beautiful at the drugstore. And I just had to have them, but I don't want to wear them yet because they're so pretty and I'm afraid I won't be able to find them again. Let me know if you've tried these out. These are called uh, Rough and Rosy, so if you can find those, I want to say they're limited edition, but don't quote me. All right, so coming up from Kiss again, we have some Kiss Color and some Kiss Gel. One of them is the short length. These are kind of like a really pretty nude color. It reminds me of something someone would wear in the spring or summertime or to a wedding. 
and it's this color right here. And then we also have hot pink. I had to have those, they're so gorgeous. Those were long length coffin. And now we have three from the Kiss Gel Fantasy Collection. This pair right here is part of their sculpted version and it is part of their breast cancer awareness. I purchased this pair right here, not only because I love pink, but because part of the proceeds go to support the Breast Cancer Foundation. So I definitely wanted to partake in that. They also have um, ones that have like white with the ribbon on it. And um, they're also part of that collection. So if you can still find that on their website, I know they are limited edition. All right, guys, so the next shade is, I can't remember the name, <laughs> but these are also long length coffin, just a really pretty, um, kind of like a brick red color. Not sure how they're showing up on camera. These are part of the sculpted nail from Gel Fantasy, and these are like a raspberry kind of a color. They're gorgeous. So there's those. Those are also long length. We've got a long way to go, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to speed it up, though. Um, so these are the short length, the gel fantasy ready to wear. These are like a really gorgeous teal color. So pretty. All right, you guys. So the next one is by Kiss as well. Could you guess that that was coming? <laughs> so these are the Salon Acrylic French Nude. And these are called Lalani, which is really, really pretty. And what they are is the French tips, like so. To me, these are more coffin shaped as well. And what I like about the nail tip is that it's super durable and strong. So if you bump this with something, it's not gonna bend like some of the long length uh, nails and whatnot. These are medium, by the way. Again, they're French tip, and it has that acrylic strength tip, which says it's 10 times stronger than other brands. Kiss, if you are listening, I love you guys. Obviously, most of the nails I wear are Kiss. Please make all of your nails with the acrylic tip, please. Because when I'm wearing a long length nail, nothing irks me more than the third or fourth day I've had them on and they bend. And it's like, you can see the crease in the nail and it just looks really meh. And then before you know it, they're breaking off. So to me, they should make all of their nails with this in it. And these acrylic ones are actually cheaper, actually cheaper than say these and they're stronger. So that's a little confusing, but if you're someone that's had problems with the Kiss Nails, I wanted to point that out that they do make these and they're just really strong and durable at the end. They're fantastic. All right moving on i did try out some of the jelly fantasy by kiss these are long length coffin and they're like a white some of them have uh just like crystal accents they're also sculpted and some of them have glitter and some of them are just kind of like a plain in case you guys cannot see those we will insert a picture right here um, these were fairly affordable wherever I found them. That's why I grabbed them. I think they were on sale. Like a buy three, get one, or buy two, get one. You can usually find those at CVS. This is a second pair of that short length teal that I just showed you guys by Gel Fantasy. These are both from the Vogish Fantasy line. One of them is called Long Length Vogish Fantasy Nails on Point and Milk Bath. And what they are is like a milky white. I know that sounds gross, but some of them here have floral, like a floral pattern. A lot of them are just that regular uh, milky white. And then you also get glitter accented nails. So really, really pretty. Nothing like I've ever had before. So I was excited to find these. These ones are tie dye. These ones are really fun. They are medium length from the Vogue, Vogueish Fantasy line. And you do get some tie-dye accented nails in there. These look black from a distance, but they're actually a really pretty deep, like, blue. Just, like, the prettiest deep blue that you could ever... And then you also get some glitter accents. 
These ones right here, I think I've shown you guys a set of these in a haul before. Again, they're long length coffin gel fantasy collection. And they're kind of like a nude vibe. Like they're ombre nude here. You get some glitter ones and then some ones with glitter and um, some kind of foily accent as well. Really pretty. We also have from the Kiss Gel Fantasy line. These are sculpted now and they're like a pastel purple. All right, from the Kiss Classy Nails. Um, these ones are new-ish. They have like maybe five different nails in this set. And these were the prettiest ones that I found in the set. And I'm hoping that they are the sturdiest because they're long length. The other ones I didn't really have a good experience with. And these ones are like a baby pink with glitter tips. So very, very pretty. We also have another kind of a nude vibe. These are short length Kiss by Gel Fantasy. And they're just something that I would wear like if I was getting married or just for fun in the summer. These ones are really pretty as well. These are Long Length by Vogish Fantasy Nails on Point and they are the marble kit. So they have that pretty marbled pink with a little bit of like lavender purple here. Sorry about the glare. And then I think there's also some glitter accents as well. All right, so another one from Kiss Fantasy, or excuse me, Kiss Masterpiece. Again, these are a little more expensive usually, but I got two of these right here around Christmas time on the Kiss website for like $5.99, $6.99. These are usually like $11, $10.99, whatever. They're nude. They do have some glitter nails and then glitter nails with rhinestones and like an opal kind of a rhinestone. They're really pretty. Another pair of that, I think it's called Slayer Die or something like that. It's like a brick red, long length coffin. Gorgeous. We're almost done. I have another pair that are tie-dyed. These are from the Vogish Fantasy line. These are long length. They're black tie-dye with gold accents and like a matte black. So really, really gorgeous. These ones are called A Whole New World. I remember the name specifically because I have a couple sets of these. They are by the Gel Fantasy Collection. They're long length coffin, matte black with gold glitter accents. So super fun. These are also by Gel Fantasy. Now these ones are more of like an ombre French, if that makes sense. They're a long length coffin with gold, um, excuse me, silver glitter accents. So those are really pretty as well. I like all of the ones that I got. We have four left. So this pack right here was part of their limited edition Christmas collection. I believe they still have some available on their website. I don't remember the name. They are Long Length Soul Special Edition Christmas Nails. And the main nail is like this really beautiful, I mean beautiful chocolate brown. Then you get your Christmas tree accents as well as the glitter nail accents. I had a blast wearing these. I loved it and I got these because of the chocolate. I didn't even wear the Christmas trees. <laughs> so another Christmas one is these guys right here. These are stunning to me. First and foremost, they are the special design limited edition for Christmas. They're long length coffin and they are like another ombre French, but they're matte. And then some of them have like these little snowflakes on them with these little rhinestones. And then you also get glitter accents that are like opal kind of, it's so hard to describe. They're stunning though. So pretty. All right, two more. We have another one of the Gel Fantasy collection. This is my third pair of these, actually fourth because I've already worn them. <laughs> But obviously I like this color. It's just a glossy finish, long length coffin. Just like a brick red or like a brownish red. So this pair right here is from the Kiss Masterpiece Collection. It's one of a kind Lux Manny. Again, you guys, these are usually $10.99. I did not pay that. 
um, but they're like a baby blue with glitter accents, rhinestones, kind of like these little beads. They're gorgeous. They do have matte and glossy finish. You guys, I know I kind of tried to whip through that. Maybe it was kind of long. Maybe it was kind of lengthy. But if you don't get anything from this video at all, I am telling you, check out the Static Nail Polish Remover. My nails are already starting to heal. They feel, my skin feels good first and foremost when I'm done taking my nails off. It feels hydrated. My nails feel hydrated. And it's a game changer. It is such a game changer. It used to be so painful to remove my press on nails and I got to the point where my nails were so weak and brittle that I didn't even want to show them to you guys. That's why I have not done a mani on on here. I like I didn't want to and I've told several of you that but since finding this I can just tell that my nails are healing to me because I know what they were like before. So if you're somebody that wears press on nails like I do girl try this i hope that you guys enjoyed my press on nail haul today and if some of you are new here hello i hope that you'll subscribe and hang out with us i do all kinds of beauty videos generally makeup related but i love sharing my nail hauls with you too as well and i hope that you guys are having a great day wherever you are i do want to say to my ride or dies hey girl hey thank you for taking time out of your busy day to come hang out with me i love you guys so 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 much Y'all know it. I love you to death. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.